I think you write well when you're angry and passionate about something. I still think that, um, yeah, because it gives you an energy and that energy goes into your work. Um, and I felt angry when I was writing about Band of Gold. You know, I felt angry about lots of things that I've written about since. And usually if I don't feel passionate about something, it's not as good. Right, well, you've got, if you want to write television, you've got a television in your front room, or most people have, or access to television. Watch it, watch what you love, look at it again, record it, watch it again. Knock on people's doors, go and you know find out who those people are that are responsible for that show. Stop freeze frame credits, look and see who it is that comes up as executive producer or producer. Write to them, ask if you can go see them. It was inspired simply by driving up Lum Lane, which was the lane then notorious for prostitution in Bradford, and seeing a young girl bob down to look in our car. And that young girl was approximately the same age as my youngest daughter. And uh, it just floored me because I, I just thought, who is she? Who is she? Where's her mum and dad? Why is she out on the lane? She's selling her body with them, you know, a, a, leg, a mottled kind of white legs, blue and white legs, because she was so cold, it was November. She got a really short skirt. And we, went, we were going to a party in Bradford. And, uh, you know, I'm a working class woman, but this was a different class. This was a, you know, it's almost like a subclass, a forgotten class of people. And I wanted to know her story. I just wanted to hear her story, what had happened to her that had, you know, driven her out onto the, onto the lane that November night in the cold to sell her body. I wanted to hear it, and I thought that other people should hear it too. I've pretended that nobody will ever read this that I'm almost writing my diary, a, a diary, um, in dialogue form, writing what I think and feel. Nobody will ever read it, and then of course putting it on British television. That's a good way, I think, to... Um, sometimes I've thought, this is really risky, what, I'm, what I want to write now. It's really digging really, really deep, and it's going to affect people, and that's... That's the nearest I've come to writer's block. And then I use that technique, which is nobody will ever see it. Nobody will ever hear it. So, you know, the writer's room is really important. Chuck ideas about this festival is fantastic. You know, access to loads of people that have, you know, how did they do it? What did they think when they sit there? What's the problems that they've incurred? It's really important because a writer by the very nature of what you do, you're sat by yourself. It's a very lonely profession, you know, so you have to be able to chat with people, say, oh, what are you, what are you writing next? Oh, really? Are they looking for that? Oh, perhaps, you know, I know something, you know, I, oh, can you introduce me to them even? What's the best way of doing that? I suppose Bleasdale, really. Um, I think Boys from the Black stuff was a masterpiece. Um, and it was an unheard voice and he, it, those episodes were so well crafted that they would stand up today. Um, I, th I think they're brilliant and he inspired me to become a writer. I look at Jimmy McGovern's work and uh, really love, you know, I mean, you know, Banished, the first episode of Banished was amazing.